Welcome back to Going Solo. I'm Rick, and I missed last week's uh, game, so I'm really excited to get back into our story with Ink and Yamba. But before we begin, let's go ahead and go over the special rules for Ink and Yamba. Uh, he does have a special Killer Wrath track, uh, which starts at level 6 for this particular scenario. Um, we also have some atonement cards, which for this scenario, we start with one in our hand. Uh, and I believe uh, the only other special rule we have uh, is a scenario specific rule uh, that the ceremonial dagger, which is somewhere inside the item decks, um, does two damage instead of one. So. Uh, with that being said, uh, we are playing Rico, or Reiko, this, uh, this afternoon, so, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Ink and Yambo was more angry than usual. The girl at the groves, Barbara, had not been the one he had been looking for. The gods lied to me. They betrayed me. He had come to this campground looking for the true culprit. The woman who had plunged the dagger into his side. He fingered the scar on his side where she had stabbed him. She grinned as she was taking my lifeblood away. She had dark hair. Yes, dark hair. He remembered that much at least. Looking up, he saw the flickering light of fire dance in the distance. That would be a good place to start. Why the dark-haired she-demon had done this to him, he did not know. But Inkanyamba's face would be the last thing she would ever see in this life. I will have my vengeance. So before we get started, uh, we need to reveal our first event card, which is the Secret Tunnel. So we place these tokens in any two of the search spaces. I'm going to choose the dock and the cabins. And for the final girl, it acts as if those spaces are adjacent. The killer, though, cannot use the secret tunnel. All right. Now we can get started. Uh, let's go ahead and kick it off with an atonement. Uh, Bloodbus is in the wrong place. All right. So we did get one success. Which means I get to decrease wrath by one. Uh, I'm also going to go for a focus here. Bring us a little closer to getting a third dice. One success, so I lose one time. But I do get to move that down. And then we will go for a walk. Again, one success. Uh, so I do lose one time, but I get to move a space as well. Do I want to walk again? I don't think so. I think I just want to buy some stuff now. So, uh, let's go ahead and buy some stuff. Um, let's go ahead and take a search and a sprint. Because we've got four time. So we're going to take a search and a sprint. And that brings us to Ink and Yamba's turn. And that brings us to Ink and Yamba's turn. On Ink and Yamba's turn, if his wrath is at one or two, he can increase it by one. It's not right now, so he can't do that. And then he targets anybody in his space and attacks. There's nobody in his space. So we draw the first terror card. They disrespected him, and now he wants their blood. Well, uh, he's already upset. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next terror card. Otherwise, target victim, move, and kill twice. Increase wrath equal to the number of victims killed this turn. Okay. 
Uh, so his movement is two spaces, which means the only one he can really get to is this one. And kills them, so he only killed one person. So Wrath goes up by one. So it's just back where it started. All right. Um, there's nobody to panic, and there's no upkeep. Uh, so we're at my turn again. So I'm gonna go with another walk right now. Ooh, double failure. So I lose two time either way, and I can sacrifice a health to actually move one space, which I am going to do, because I want to search. So let's search. Uh, the dice are not my friend tonight. Uh, we're going to discard the short rest and weak attack. And turn that into a success. So that we can at least take this top card from the dock. Which is our lucky rabbit's foot. Uh, so we can discard this during the action phase. And for each success we get to choose one of these four things to happen. Uh, increase time by two. Increase health by one. Decrease horror. Or move one space. <coughs> All right. And I think while we're at it, let's go ahead and try for a distraction. Uh, if I get two successes, then I get a third dice, which would be awesome. And I did. Oh, wow. Okay, two successes. And I gained two time, which puts me back up to six. And I gained a third dice. Yay. What the heck? Let's sprint then. Huh. <laughs> Bad choice. Alright, so I lose a health and two time. And... Since this is going to be the end of my turn anyway, I'll go ahead and move the space. Alright. So, uh, let's see, I've got four time left. So with my four time, I'm going to buy... I'm going to take my zero cost, and then I'm going to buy a search and a sprint. Because I'd like to save some victims here. <clears throat> All right. All right, so... We are back to Inkanyamba's turn. Uh, his wrath can't be increased right now. It's not one or two. And why is this revealed right now? That should have been upside down. Um, his wrath, uh, his wrath is not one or two, so we can't increase that. And there's nobody in his space for him to attack. So, terror card. Run for your life. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next terror card. Otherwise, all victims that are not in your space must panic. Okay, all victims not in my space. So we're going to start with these six down here. Okay, let's see. Ones stay where they are. So three are going to stay. 
Uh, two through five move towards me, so that's one. And then sixes move to Ink and Yamba's space. And then we've got two up here at make out point. That's a three and a five, so they're both going to move to the cliff here. All right. Now, the next step, target and attack. So it's gonna target here and attack. So we gain another bloodlust. And then he's going to target victims, the closest victim, and move. He's already in the space with the closest victim. All right. So that's the end of his turn. Now we're going to see if the guy that's in his space panics. They panic to me. Awesome. That is really good. Really good, because I can do like a combo move here, I think. Alright. And then there's no upkeep, and it is my turn again. So I'm going to walk. I've got three dice right now. Alright, so I've got... Four... Can't sacrifice any more health. Um, so I'm going to discard my focus cards. I don't need those at the moment. Turn that into one success. So that I can take two of these guys over here and save them. I'm going to take the move one space with both of them. So that I can move here and then back here and save this one as well. And I'm going to increase time by two. Then I'm going to sprint. Three successes. So. I lose one time, but I get to move up to three spaces. Let's see what's in the cabins. The whistle. Ugh. Whistle wouldn't really help me too much right now. Um. Let's see here. Okay. One, two, three. And then I'm going to discard the lucky rabbit's foot. I make a horror roll. And then for each success, I get to do one of those four things. I got one success. And one of those things is to move one space. So I will save these two victims as well. Which gives me a health back and I take the planning card. All right. Now I have saved enough victims to unlock Rico's special ability. Once per action phase, if an enemy is within two spaces, you may move to that enemy's space for free. I don't think I want to do that quite yet. I think that's going to be the end of my turn. <coughs> Which means it's Ink and Yamba's turn. Uh, he can't increase his wrath right now. And there's nobody in his space for him to attack, so we take a terror card. 
Fickle Temper. Make a horror roll. Two successes, and I get to reduce Killer Wrath by half, round it up. One success, I reduce it by one, and no successes, then I unleash it, and then increase it. Increase Wrath by the number roll. Okay. Alright, one success. That's fine. Wrath comes down. One. That is fine with me. Alright. Then he targets victim, moves, and kills. And now we unleash our dark power. Which is whenever wrath increases, increase horror. Alright. I don't think I bought cards last time. I didn't. So let me see. Focus. I know I have gained some. remember. I think I rolled two on this one. One on this one. No, no, I didn't roll anything on this one because these were discards. So I walked, so that would have lost me one, and then I sprinted. That would have lost me one. Oh, no, that lost me two. Because... One, two... Yeah. Okay. I think. Anyway, so I had, I'm, I'm going to say I had three. Uh, I'll buy search. No, I'll buy sprint. I'll take my zeros and a close call. All right, there. Okay. All right, so we just did his fickle temper. Uh, there's nobody to panic. No upkeep, so we're back to me. I'm going to attempt to walk. Uh, two successes, so I get two spaces. Now the question is, do I want to stop at the dock and search, or do I want to search at the cabin? I think I'll search at the cabins. So, one, two. And I'll lose a time for that. And I'm going to search. One success. So that means I'll lose a time and I just get the top card from the cabins, which is the whistle. So I can spend a time. All victims adjacent to me will move into my space. Then the enemies move one space or move their movement towards me. As long as you have the whistle, one additional victim will follow you. That's good to know, but I mean, there's only two on the board right now, so. Let's go ahead and Attempt a sprint now. 
No. No, I want to stay. I want to stay where I am because I need to find a weapon. So I'm going to buy the search card. So I can search again. And I'll buy uh, the other sprint card. And I will take these. Okay. Ink and Yamba. Nobody in his face for him to kill, and he can't increase his wrath, so we take terror. Let's go see if the rumors are true. Place two new victims in the space where the killer started the game. Killer started the game here. So we get two new victims here. Horror level goes up one. Which means I'm down to two dice again. And we get another event. Fresh meat. Jeez. Okay, place two new victims in the cabins. Uh, two new victims at the dock. And two victims at the fire pit. Just two more people for him to kill. Alright. Well, six new people here for him to kill, technically. But, that's the end of his turn. He didn't get to kill anybody this turn. So that's something. Alright, and since he didn't kill, there's no panic. Unfortunately for them. And there's no upkeep. Alright, so I'm going to start with a focus, see if I can get my third dice back. I did not. All I did was lose two time. So I'm going to try another focus. See if I can get my third dice back. Um... Yeah, I'll take it. Having three dice is worth it. Then I'll search. I'm hoping to find that dagger. Let's go ahead and do a close call and re-roll this one. Just one so I don't lose any more time. Nope. Okay. Okay. So I get the top card. From the cabins. Old revolver. That'll work. It's one damage, but it'll work. May only modify the weak attack action card. Okay, that's fine. Alright, and then let's sprint. One success, so I get to move two spaces. One, and since one extra can follow me, two. I will save all three of those. So I get three time recovered. All right. All right, and with five time, what can I buy here? I guess I need to start going after him. So I could buy Furious Strike for four. And then I 
Maybe a gar? Or, no, a search. See if I can find a better weapon than the old revolver. All right. That's what we'll go with. Okay. okay. Alright. His turn. He kills one of these. Bloodlust goes up. Terror card. And of course, he unleashes horror. So one, two. Oh, that's all it does. Okay, increase horror equal to the horror level. So three. And then he kills the other guy. It's fine, I fully expected it. Nobody to panic, no upkeep. Back to me. don't have weak attack right now, but I do have Furious Strike. Let's try walking first, though. Okay. So I do get one space. And I can search the docks again. One success, so I get the top item. Trash can lid. Okay. That's fine. Uh, that lost me another time. I think I'm gonna stop there. Well, let's try one more walk to see if I can save this victim. See if I can prevent any more increase to his bloodlust. Uh. Yeah, lose two time. I'm going to lose a health to take him and save him. Alright, and that's all I'm going to do. So I've got three time points. Distraction would get me another... Um, dice. So that's what I'm taking. Alright, here we go. He will be able to get to me if he gets to move. All right, his turn. Uh, let's see, he can't increase his wrath because it's above two. And there's nobody in his place for him to attack. I fell asleep, what did I miss? Place one new victims at the cabins. Jeez, new victims all over the place. And then increase horror by two. Which is going to make it even harder to get down to my third dice. Okay. But he didn't get to do anything. That's something, I guess. I suppose. Okay. So I've only got two dice. Let's do a distraction first. Of course, it's a complete failure. I ain't taking four. Let's just go for it then. Um, I'll in both of my walks are in here, so all I've got is a sprint.
and I can't use the old revolver in the same space as him, so I would have to stop before I get there. So I would really need two moves in order to do anything here, or to do what I wanted to do. Okay, let's go ahead and do the sprint. Okay, there's one success. Time goes down one, but I get to move. I could move two spaces. I'm only going to move one. And then I'm going to do the weak attack. With the revolver, of course. Ooh. Um, I guess I'm going to get rid of the focuses for now. Just to turn one of these. So that I can at least hit him. For two points. Okay. And then let's do the short rest. See if I can recover some health here. I lost the time, but I did recover a health. Okay. That's all I'm doing. So I've got two points left. I'm going to take a guard because I'm sure he's going to come after me. And then these can go back. All right. <clears throat> oh, wait. Short rest. I did the weak attack this round. The two walks I get. Okay. All right, so his turn. Nothing for him to do there. Terror card. And unleash. So he gains a health back. Horror increases by one. He targets me. Because I'm the closest to him. Moves and attacks. His current attack power is two. I'm going to use my guard. And I reduce his damage by two. So, no damage. Good. Alright. So that's all of the wrath. Increase wrath to a number to the number of victims that have been saved. Okay, that's gonna put it all the way back up to ten. And then since wrath increased. Horror increases, which means his bloodlust increases. Okay. Alright. Um, there's no way to panic and no upkeep, so it's my turn again. Let's go ahead and do a furious strike. I could hit him and immediately end my turn, but if that's what it takes, then that's what it takes. One success. Oh, I would have only gotten one dice. Let me roll that again. Be fair. Okay, so it would have been that. It'll end my turn anyway. So I am going to discard the two walks to turn that into a success, which reduces horror by one, gives me another dice, hits him for one,
not modified by the revolver because he can't be modified by the revolver. And then ends my turn. All right, so I've got six points. If I don't take a retaliate or a guard, he could kill me. So I'm gonna take the retaliate for four. Two left. I'm of course going to take all of these. And with two left, I'm going to take a sprint. All right. Now it's his turn. Uh, nothing to increase, or he can't increase. Uh, so he is going to attack me. His attack is still two. I'm going to re Ooh. Gotta put these back. Okay, I am going to retaliate. Yes. Two successes. Okay. So, reduces the attack by two, which means he doesn't hit me at all, and he takes two damage. Alright, and now we draw a terror card. And he gets Outrageaholic. I knew that was coming. I knew it was in there. So that's three extra health points for him. And whenever Wrath increases, it increases by an additional one, but it's at its max right now, so... I mean, that's not really gonna help. And that's his turn. Okay. Let's see here. Do I want to try to hit him or do I want to try to run? I think I want to try to run for right now. Because I kind of want to try to find a weapon that will modify more than just that. Okay. We're going to try to sprint it. Oof. I was hoping to use... I was hoping to use the focus. I could get rid of them, though, so that I could move. Yeah. I'm going to drop my focus so that I can move two spaces. Which should be enough to get me away from him for at least one round. Now he can get to me, but there's people between me and him, so he would stop and kill them first. And then I'm gonna short rest. Apparently not. Uh, I really don't want to drop these, but I'm going to because I don't want to increase his bloodlust any more than it already is. So I still recover one health and I lose one time. All right, uh, so with four time, I'm going to purchase Let's see here With four time, I'm gonna purchase Two searches, no, a search and a sprint And of course I will take 
uh, to walks here as well. Okay. Now it's his turn again. Nothing he can do right now. He's coming and there's nothing we can do. Horror goes back up, which means I lose a dice. He targets the closest victims, moves and kills. He's got four spaces of movement. One, two, three. Kill. Bloodlust goes up. Okay. Yep, that's his turn. All right, he did kill, so we do panic this one victim that's left with him. Or a two, which means they come down here with me. <coughs> and then uh, there's no upkeep, so it's my turn again. I'm gonna start with a search. Not that it's going to do me much good with one dice. Nope. It's going to increase his bloodlust. That gummit. Yep, let's might as well do it. Discard my two walks, and I get to take. The ceremonial dagger. Okay. So now do I want to get rid of the old revolver or the trash can lid? Let's get rid of the trash can lid for now. Okay, Ceremonial Dagger will be helpful. Now I'm going to sprint. Hopefully. No, I'm not. I lose a hilt and two time. And I'm out of cards. Alright, so I've got three points. Let's take all of these. A guard. And a close call. Alright, his turn again. There's nobody in his space for him to kill. Terror card is, he's coming and there's nothing we can do about it. Or there's nothing we can do. Alright, so horror goes up one, which means bloodlust goes up one instead. He targets victims, moves, and attacks, which would increase it by one, which would discard two more terror cards, but all the terror cards are gone. So we are in a position here. Okay. His movement is now five. Uh, anyway. So he moved. He killed. We panic. Two. That's five to six. That's three to four. So yep, he stays. Okay. <coughs> and then there's no upkeep. Now it's my turn. I have a guard. I also have a weak attack. If I could hit him with the weak attack. Um, let's first attempt to focus. These should have all gone back. Before I get started here. 
Okay, let's attempt to focus first. It's a success. So I get my second dice back. Perfect. Then I'm going to weak attack. We'll do the close call to reroll both of them. Okay, that's better. We at least got one success. With the weak attack, that means that I lose a health and he loses a health, but he's also going to lose two additional health because the ceremonial dagger does two instead of one. And decreases wrath. So that's going to take all three of these points. And that goes away. Oh, and the upkeep, he would have revealed this. So on his turn, he'll be doing that. Which is not going to be great for me. It's actually going to be pretty dang bad for me. Okay. I'm going to short rest. I'm not going to short rest. I do gain one back. I lose my extra dice though. And I lose a time. And it ends my turn. Alright, so I've only got two points here. I'm going to take another guard, because he's going to get two attacks at me. Or, well, he's at least going to get one attack at me. I wish I could have gotten retaliate. But I don't have enough for that. So, alright. Alright, his turn. Um, let's see. First, he unleashes Wrath, which means he gains to health and he attacks we would increase wrath but or well it will increase but he attacks first okay so he's gonna attack I'm going to use guard I've only got one dice I failed. So I reduce it by one. So his three becomes a two. All right. Then wrath increases. And then he gets to attack me again. So I will play my other guard card. And fail. So that brings his three down to two. Which means that if I do not have health under this token, I lose. And I don't. So, uh, that's a game over for me. And uh, that wraps up the second session of Ink and Yamba. Uh, so next week we will play Ink and Yamba at Creech Manor, I believe. 
Um, and hopefully we can do better then. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, good night.